And a man is fighting for his life after he was hit by a pickup truck. Yeah, and police say the driver just took off. Let's get right to 7 Action News reporter Malcolm Maddox live in Dearborn Heights. Malcolm, I guess the first question is, how is this man doing right now? Well, Vic, we just put a call into the Dearborn Heights Police Department to try to get an update. The last word we got from them is that this gentleman is in very critical condition. This is a very tragic situation that took place here. We are right at Van Bourne and Telegraph. The accident took place just north of Van Bourne, and the gentleman was walking across the street, and he was hit by a late model Ford F-150. The color was either black or dark blue. It was a four-door. F-150 with extensive front end damage. The vehicle lost a mirror on the passenger side, and they also have a partial license plate, TRL. Now, we spoke to representatives from the Dearborn Heights Police Department. Uh, this is what they told us this morning. Uh, we had a pedestrian that was uh, hit by a vehicle, and the vehicle fled uh, northbound on Telegraph. Can you tell me anything about the victim? Uh, all we know is that he's in critical condition right now. We're going to follow up at the hospital here very shortly. Now, we are told that this is a younger gentleman. They wouldn't give an exact age, as you just heard. But again, a very unfortunate turn of events here. This gentleman is fighting for his life right now. If you have any information, if you were out here early this morning, right around midnight, and you have any information, you are urged to call the Dearborn Heights Police Department. But once again, this is a dark blue or black Ford F-150, uh, a late model F-150, four-door with extensive front end damage. It has a cab in the back, is missing the passenger side mirror and there are bits and pieces of the vehicle uh, that came off as you saw from that video. Again, if you have any information, please call the Dearborn Heights Police Department. That's the very latest from Dearborn Heights. Malcolm Maddox, 7 Action News.